I'm Mashmail1204 com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install an SQL server on your computer along with PHP my admin. Um, I'm going to be using Windows Server 2012 for this but it does work on any version of Windows. Um, so what I'm going to do is just sign in here um, on Windows Server. I'm using the administrator's account. Um, so first what you want to do when you log in or whatever you want to go to um, Google and then um, you, there's no specific order for which to download these two but I prefer to download PHP my admin first just to uh, because it's the easiest one basically just copying files over so PHP my admin so go to their website um, and then download the latest version. There's a button on the home page um, at the time of recording this. I don't know if they've changed it by the time you're watching it. Um, and open this. It's only 7 meg, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Once that's downloaded, you'll have all these files here. Um, what you want to do is uh, close the internet down for now. Um, go to. Nope, we're not on that. Go to the. C drive um, and then go to where all your files are basically the uh, the root file for the web server so here's mine here and then what you want to do is create a new folder called php my admin all lowercase and then basically just put all them files into that folder Okay, and that's basically um, PHP my admin installed. Um, but if we try and open this up, so um, PHP my admin, we'll see how we get um, the web server is configured. Um, it's not in the list. The web the web server is configured to not list the contents of this directory. Um, if that happens, then what you'll need to do is um, add it to add PHP to the uh, directory. This probably won't happen on yours, but since I've just had to reinstall um, the server, um, as you can see, ph index.php is not there, so I'm just going to index.php, add that into there. Um, and it should come up with this. Now this is for PHP fatal error now, this is what you'll probably get um, because um, you've not enabled the uh, MB string in php.ini um, so what we're going to do now is enable this first so what you want to do is go to your php.ini file so php, php.ini okay then what you want to go down to is the extensions right here and while we're here well you need to take away the semicolon from the MB um, string dot DLL and while we're here you need to take away MySQL I because um, the SQL um, PHP Mining uses MySQL I um, and while we're here we'll just take we'll just um, enable the normal MySQL as well um, just because uh, it's part of MySQL so once you've done that you can um, close this down and save it um, you might need to restart the server so if we just come up to here and restart this server so re restart the localhost basically if you're on like just normal windows um, once that's done refresh and we should be good to go um, so that's PHP my admin all done up, but as you can see, we can't. We've actually got no username and password yet because we've not set up any um, SQL server on here. So say you type in root, obviously, um, oops, um, nothing basically happens because you know there's no configuration there. So what I want to now is set up SQL. So go back to the internet and go to. Control A, it's not working for some reason. Google, um, and then you want to go to um, 
uh, MySQL. So this is the SQL server we're going to be using, uh, the most popular one basically. Then if you go to um, the download section, which is right at the top here, um, and then we want to be downloading the um, community edition. Um, so actually, if you just go back to Google, cause it's a lot easier to uh, see this download link here. It's a lot easier just to click on that and it takes you straight to it. Um, so we want to download this community server here. I'll click download. Um, and you can use the manual installation, but this installer is actually good to go and it's a lot easier. Um, select your operating system, obviously Windows. Um, I want to select this one here, the top one. Um, the bottom one is a web-based install installer thing, but um, it's at the top one. It's 180 meg, um, so it will take them a while. Sign up if you've not already have, um, and then once you've got an account, it's free to sign up, so don't worry about that. Once you've got an account, log in. Um, and then once you've logged in, it should give you a download now button. Um, and this will start to download, so I'm just going to save as and put this onto the desktop. Um, so that take a minute, so what I'm going to do is pause the video and wait till this is downloaded. Alright, so it's just finished downloaded. So once it's finished, you can close the Internet Explorer down or whatever you're using. Um, and then run the installer here. And this is this is basically very simple from here. It basically tells you everything you need to know and what to install. So we're going to select install MySQL products, accept the license. Um, this is to check for updates if there is any. You can skip it if you want, but just click execute. It doesn't take long. There you go. Um, and that gets the latest updates if there is any. Um, select what you want here, but we're going to just do developer default. Um, and then this will go through what's needed to be installed on your computer. Just click execute um, and it will start installing whatever's needed. Um, so click yes to the license. That will this will this is basically just um, C plus plus. Um, if you've not got it on your computer, it, if you've got it on your computer, it won't ask you to do that. Um, and just click execute until you get the next button and this is all the stuff that will be installed so just click execute and it will start installing everything that's that's uh, you know once again needed to be installed in order to run um, an SQL server so it once again it shouldn't take too long this once you pass the workbench it should just fly through Okay, so once that's done, you click next. Um, click next again. This is the server setup now. Config type um, you've got your um, development machine, server machine, or dedicated machine. You probably maybe select server machine if it's going to um, if you're going to be running like a, a web server as such, um, or a dedicated machine, um, for just a MySQL server. But chances are you probably won't use a dedicated machine. Um, so at the moment I'm just going to use a development machine because it installs um, the minimum um, applications and um, just basically general stuff for just low, if you're just using like local host type thing um, or a server for a LAN or something um, then development machine is perfectly fine. Um, all these settings should be the same. Um, now you want to type in uh, MySQL root password so just put anything in you want. Um, you don't need to add an additional user account because you're going to be using root. Um, if you want to add an, once once you've set it up, you can use the workbench, um, which is basically like a sort of little. If you if you remember the uh, the MySQL section in the C panel, it's sort of like that, but you know, a bit more advanced. Um, but click next. You don't need to add a user. Um, that's just basically the service name. Leave that as, leave all that the same. Um, let it configure right, and then this will just install samples and examples. Um, 
once again that shouldn't take too long click next and that's basically it you can click start the workbench after setup so if I click start this is basically the workbench basically where you can just set up all your database stuff um, but you don't really need to do much for this now um, and that's basically it if we go to the internet again and then try go to PHP my admin we can now use root and log in with that password you just created um, once this logs in alright um, I had to click refresh then for some reason it came up with a blank page but I just clicked refresh and it came up and that's basically it PHP my admin has um, you now have access to PHP my admin and databases um, and you can start creating databases on this say if we do um, I don't know, so you create a database and then you create your tables, it's just basically what you know now. So that's how to um, create a MySQL server um, and use phpMyAdmin to use that server. So basically this workbench here, what we installed, is basically a sort of, this is sort of phpMyAdmin if you know what I mean. phpMyAdmin is another sort of type of workbench if if you get what I mean for that um, so obviously you've got your databases here mines connections and stuff like that but um, PHP Madmin is more known and for websites and stuff like that so I thought I'd use that one so thanks for watching and I will see you next time